All right, everyone. Here we are with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of this video, guys. Right after this chart analysis, I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. Today, I managed to find two home run opportunities. One was 30% plus at its highest point, and the other went 50% plus at its highest point of possibility. And that's something you can become part of as well. Check it out. The link is down below. And we're going to share with you guys the ticker symbols I have for you guys and the ones I mentioned this morning right after this chart analysis. So here we are with XCLA. Excella Technologies Inc. Now, Excella Technologies Inc. XCLA stock has actually been pushing upwards, right? After dipping and hitting lows here of 222, we've been watching this very carefully. That seems to have kind of bottomed out and it's actually holding itself up, even though there's volatility to the upside and pulling back down. This was a sign of strength and now it's pushing back up, creating that staircase effect if it could continue with the momentum, right? So, we're going to look at the resistance level, support levels to keep in mind, but the lowest point, you definitely want to remember that 222 is key, right? So here we are with some momentum to the upside and the lowest point of the day was down here at 268. So you can write that down. But before getting there, the first support level I would watch is 279 and I would see how this is reacting between 279, 268 to see if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears are turning this one down fairly fast. It's going to be a key level to watch and see what's going on. And if it breaks through both of them, the next support level would be down here at 259. Very key level of support to watch before this goes any lower, right? Because that's where the consolidation kind of ended and the momentum picked up. Now, to the upside, we have a few levels to watch. But the first one I would start watching is right here at 297. If that is cross, the next point of reference is 303. And if 303 can be broken through, I would watch carefully how significantly they start pushing upwards because one of the highest points was 313. And if it can break through those levels, it can actually continue going deeper into bullish territory, reaching newer highs. And the next level would be up here at 339. I would just round that up to 340. And I would definitely watch these areas to see if the bulls can continue pushing upwards. And the higher this goes, the higher the chances of a squeeze because the shorts have to cover while the stock is going higher, right? Creating a possible squeeze. I look forward to seeing your thoughts, how you feel about XCLA stock, Excella Technologies Inc., how it's doing, how it's moving. Do you see strength or could this all be a bull trap and it could actually fall back down to 222 and possibly even break through it? As always, if you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with the friends so they could receive the insight as well. I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys that you won't want to miss. That's presenting itself as an opportunity, as well as the stocks I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if you want to get live updates on the stocks I watch, the link is down below in the description to the Discord. And I look forward to having you join us. Stay tuned. So the ticker symbol I want to share with you guys today is one that I've talked about before here on the Discord and Patreon, and it's come back down to the levels at the first time we started watching it near these lows. Now, once we started watching it back in May, it nearly doubled a few weeks later, but this stock now, it's not that it's going to repeat the same history. If it does, even better, but it's at those levels and it's becoming an opportunity all over again, guys. Now, we're going to look at that chart and how I feel about it in just a moment. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. Today, I managed to find two home run opportunities, and we're going to look at them in just a moment. So we talked about EVK. VXRT and DLPN. Let's see how they performed. Our worst performer was VXRT, but it still gave small jumps of about 5 to 
at their highest jumps. So DLPN, we started watching in the pre-market, had a little bit of a jump, and it had small jumps on its pullback on the way down, but it actually consolidated right within this area from the 860s to $9, and then it took off, giving jumps of about 10 to 15%, but at its highest point, it gave a jump of 30% plus. It took a little bit of time. That's why timing and execution is everything. I usually look for 5 to 10%. Anything beyond that is phenomenal. And this stock turned out to be a home run opportunity. It wasn't instant, and it wasn't one of those instant gratification expectations, but it presented the opportunity we were looking for, right? Momentum. Now, here's the other one. Right after the bell, it dipped pretty hard. We started watching it near 395 started to run towards the bell it was almost up 10 to 20 percent it pulled down hard near those levels again this is evk right and it actually took off after that within just about 30 minutes to an hour giving a highest point of 50 percent plus and the rest of the day had small jumps of three to five percent five to ten percent ten to twenty percent i mean it was phenomenal filled with opportunity throughout the whole entire day but we caught this one pretty early on in the pre-market, had a little bit of a run, pulled back down, and took off within minutes. So if you guys want to know what stocks I watch daily, you're more than welcome to join us. And we look forward to having you join us over at the Discord. The link is down below in the description. So what's the stock you want to add to your watch list? Well, this is a stock I've talked about before, and it's right back to those levels, and it's L-O-T-Z, LOTS, okay? Last time I talked about LOTS was way back here in May. When it hit the fours, brought itself back up. It was pulling downwards near 432 is when I started talking about it. And it took off to a highest point of 837, guys. That was phenomenal. Nearly 100% in just a few days and weeks. Now, it's been in a downward spiral. Analysis price targets have not changed. They're still pretty bullish. And the stock, right, after this weekend, had a little bit of a jump up to 462 from the lows down here at 442 now if the stock continues to consolidate within these areas it's going to continue to show strength and if it goes lower i will watch how it reacts within this area all the way down to four dollars and even beyond that if the lower it goes the bigger the opportunity because analysis ratings still point this one to the upside the technicals are there and once this reverses it could have some potential upside whether it's 50 percent 20%, 10%, or 100%, I'm going to be watching this one closely. I highly encourage you to do more research on the company and everything about them. And as always, guys, this is not financial advice. This is just me enlightening you guys on the stocks I'm watching, why I'm watching them, and what attracted me to them. And it's just an opportunity to learn as well. So I hope you guys are always learning through these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.